everyone, and welcome back. It's Friday morning. It's a couple minutes before 6 o'clock. A balmy 21 degrees. I'm going to fill up with diesel, and it's time to head to the tent for a deer stand weekend. Fueled up. One more stop, and that's at the grocery store. Shopping is done. My truck says it's 37 degrees right now, but there's a little bit of a breeze and it's definitely raw out. Not quite ready for winter. Here. Well, it looks like the squirrel has decided that it likes the paper towels. I did bring up my 22s this weekend. I think it's time. Hunting season is open. I think it's time that the squirrel <laughs> goes away. Knocked over a bunch of my shotgun shells. I think the first thing I need to do is get that fire going. It's chilly in here. Didn't take them very long to find me. <laughs> uh, can you guys even see the bird up there? I think so.
When they come back, we'll see if they like stale Cajun fries Pringles. <laughs> I'm just driving the loop, just seeing if there's any grouse. I saw one right back by the tent driveway, but it was a small one. And once my dad gets up here and I know that he's at the cabin and everything, his place, I will, then I'm gonna grab my stuff and go out and I wanna take care of my bar stand today and my clearing stand today. I decided to walk down a trail that's kind of by where Sarah's stand is and uh, I jumped a grouse and I shot it and I got it and then didn't think when I went to get it and a second one jumped and if I would have been thinking about it <laughs> it would have been an easy shot but I but I wasn't I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab my umbrella roof, one of them that's in here, and go out to my clearing stand and get that one done with. It's just a 10 minutes to 11 right now. I'd like to get at least one of them done before lunch. Thought I'd at least show you the bird before I head for the deer stand. I got the umbrella roof above it. I tied up that blanket a little better. I don't think I need to replace it this year. I do have a second one up here, but the one for the far stand and one for here if it was needed, but I don't think I need it this year. That should be ready for whenever I decide to sit there. Lightly snowing out. Oh, one deer stand done. It's pretty toasty in here now. Well, just like usual, I'm just going to cook up a couple of burgers on the gas grill and a beef smoked sausage for lunch. I was thinking. My dad made it up to his place. He hasn't been over here yet. The last time he was here, I don't have a railing on that, on two steps that come up to the tent. Something for him to grab onto. I think it would be a good idea. I don't know if I have some lumber here for that. To make something for him to grab onto coming up those stairs because 
even you know during deer hunting them they get really slippery sometimes it'd be nice just to have one there i might have to do that i don't know this weekend or next weekend when or a deer hunting weekend i mean i'll see what i have here was it it was 30 34 in here when I got here this morning. <laughs> it was. I, I gotta put some traps out. I think I had a mouse in there. Oh, did you? I had a, that squirrel got back in here, so if you hear me shoot my shotgun today, it's because that oh, yeah. squirrel's out there. He shredded these on the floor. <laughs> I got a grouse. Huh? I got a grouse, though. How many in? Uh, well, I came, I got here about 8.45. Oh. And then I... I actually scared one up going down by the... Do you want a burger? I can cook one up. It only takes about five minutes. What? Do you want a burger? No, no. Okay. No. Um, I jumped up a little one when I left the driveway, and then I made the loop, and I come around, and I started just turned into the driveway, and there was a <laughs> grouse, and then it flew. So I went down and came down by... Uh, went towards Sarah's stand. Oh, yeah. And then I seen it, and I shot it. And, of course, I didn't remember that wait for two that's right and i walk up and another one takes off i could oh. probably easily got that one <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> yep. oh. so <laughs> i think i'm gonna put a little railing on that side of there oh because you know even when in the winter time or during deer hunting it'll get slippery yeah oh yeah and then for you too coming up yeah. i mean a lot of times i would grab it and i was just looking at it when i was out there cooking i thought i should just put a little railing on there yeah. you know yeah. so yeah, I still have one. Uh, it's it's still hard, especially starting out. Is it? But I not, uh, I only it's, I have a cane, but I um you know if I'm inside of it, I just keep it by the chair, you know. Oh, do you think you yeah, just grab one? But it, it's hard s sitting on a couch because. I had to put little, little lower layers about that much lower so I could see over it. And but, but anyway, the, the couch when you sit in it, you you you, you sink in a long ways, you know. Oh, so you can't just slip out. Yeah, right. yeah because it, I'm, not, you know, I'm not supposed to be more than seventy or ninety. So I. Uh, all I to to, to to do is put all put a. I had a long, long lawn chair, and now it's a, well, I like kitchen chair. And I just put right by the couch, and then I don't sink at all, you know. Oh, yeah, then it's easy off and on, yeah. yeah. You know. it, it's, you know, it's easier. Yeah, and so I am, um, I, I yeah. move over. It is, yeah, it's like a fat lid. Fat lid. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, open up the bag and this smells so damn good. Oh, I suppose it smells like pine trees, yeah. Yeah, yeah it comes from, I think, the down to Georgia or something. Does it? You can find it up here, people. Is it the tr trees? Is it's just a pine tree, but a part of it that's full of sap. Oh, I see, okay. But I don't know how you... It smells so... so you know. So good, you know. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Well, did you, 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 you haven't seen more ducks? No, I you know, I haven't morning. seen any to, to, to dust for about three, four weeks. And the morning I walked out to build a duck. And I looked over the edge, and there's two big manalers looking up at me. Oh, there was, huh? See, first <laughs> Nice. Are you, 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 you're gonna, you're, I'm gonna go out this afternoon on my stand and but I have a bag of, it's, it says it's Brock salts for the deer. They're through. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I asked that in Elk River, it's a meat plant. I asked them if they cut up anything. They said this year, if it's quartered, skinned and quartered, they'll cut up anything you want. Huh. But that, now I don't know of any other place to do you. I'll have to look on 
there's got to be a place to look and see. Because I remember last year I looked on the internet and I found a place at Rogers. And I had a hell of a time fight. It was on a full arm. And when it got there, it was a big meat company. He did. He had El Caribou, a big, big, big barn. Well, let's head down to my fire stand and get that one all done also. Well, I got the new blanket on the stand here. I got the new umbrella up there. Two more weeks. I still did not see any deer sign coming in here. I'm gonna look around a little bit, but I kinda wanna go out to Sarah's stand yet today too. Two stands done. I walked around back in the area where uh, I usually would see some sign and I mean you can tell that there's a trail there but I'm not seeing anything. Looks like my dad's out doing stuff by his stand. Let's walk back and take a look at Sarah's stand. Her stand seems to be in fairly good shape. I think even this roof is gonna survive one more season. Keeper Northern right there. Another perfect size Eater Northern right there. That's not bad. I don't think I casted more than 15 times and got my limit.
one grouse, one squirrel. I did get a squirrel out here this afternoon. That's a nice fish meal for two right there. I texted Zachary and I don't, he didn't get back to me. I told him he should bring up his fishing pole tomorrow. I've got one he could use here too, but. Catch some fish. One more feather to add to my collection. It goes 2012. Nothing in 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. My fingers are a bit chilly, but cleaning fish in 35 degree weather, they get chilly pretty fast. I need to get that barbecue going. I'm going to just cook up a couple of chuck steaks tonight. I was only going to do one, but I might as well cook them both. I'll get them, you know, eat them at work or whatever when I'm down at the camper. When I cooked that chuck steak, I put a chunk of apple in there, so it's got some nice smoky smell to it. It should be really good. Okay everyone, it's 20 after 10. It's time for bed. Zachary will be up here tomorrow morning. Good morning everybody. I've been up for a while but it's still dark outside. I think there's a lot of fog over the lake right now. I tried to bring the camera out there but it doesn't show it at all, it's just too dark. Well, I got a text from Zachary at 6.39 and he is about an hour away. Right now it's like 6.52 so he should be up here within the next 40 minutes or so. The birds were here a little earlier, but I didn't have anything for them yet. In the afternoon, highs in the mid-40s. North wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest in the afternoon. Gusts up to 20 miles per hour in the morning. Tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid to upper 20s. North wind around 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid-40s. Northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming east in the afternoon. Sunday night, increasing clouds.
I thought you were stopped. I wonder what the heck. <laughs> I want to drive the loop for grouse right away this morning. Because... And there's, there's one when I first came in off the tar. Really? On the left side. Kind of like where you get to that first little right turn. Yeah. There's one walking across right there. Huh. This is yeah. a good time. Last week I left about this time in the morning, a little bit earlier, and there was one in the road. Yeah. So nobody's out grouse hunting yet. So. I shot three times in that thing. Couldn't get it. <laughs> oh, you did with the 22? Yeah, you didn't hear it? I didn't. No, I was, I was like, just... hear like your truck way. <laughs> Nothing. Shot again. Nothing. I'm like, are you kidding me? Shot again. Nothing. <laughs> Gets up and flies. I'm like, really? You didn't bring your shotgun up? No. The one gun I looked at, I said, ah, I'm not taking that one. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to just take off and drive down to the end and back and see if I see one. I got one yesterday. You saw that. Yeah. So I would like to get one more. You should go because it, yeah, it just flew right across and then was landing down a little further. So. Huh. Oh, it's warm in the tent. So it's morning, like three thirty. No, uh, four o'clock. Oh, and you did, and you can make it up that quick. Yeah. I, I suppose uh, we live a little further this way now. Right. Oh, that's true. That's true. How much sleep did you get then? I went to bed at like nine or. Nine oh, you did. So you got plenty of sleep then. You got, yeah. but still, you had a four-hour drive or close to it. Yeah. A three and a half. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, this, a truck passed me, and they, it was like a, a Ford with a trailer and a four-wheeler, and they had a canoe on the top, and that was way down, like right when I got on 30, 35. I followed them all the way up. We went to the McDonald's. We went to the gas station, the holiday. Kept going all the way up, uh, turned right, turned left. I'm like, what the heck? And then... They turned off like right on that road. And I'm like, those people are coming. I thought I'm gonna follow them all the way up here. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. Well, Zach said he saw two grouse when he was driving in. So I'm gonna drive just up to the highway. I'm not gonna do the whole loop and see if I see any. He didn't bring his shotgun up. He brought up his 22 because he wants to sight it in. <laughs> But no shotgun. Look at that bull moose right there. Just walking down the road. I drove all the way out to the tar and I didn't see any grouse yet, so heading back. I didn't know. Come on in. It's nice and warm in here. Yeah. Oh, where did you see the grouse? I seen one like halfway up the driveway. Yeah, maybe I that's from yeah. what I seen yeah. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and then I seen one when I just turned in off the tar. It was on the left oh, before yeah. that first little right turn there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, maybe because it's hot. Uh, remember, I seen two of them for very far from my truck. Right, yep. Yeah, I drove through the come down before you turn on the driveway. Probably the same one you saw before. And I took my gun out and then I went out there and I couldn't see us. So then I walk into the woods and a woodcock jumps up. So I shot twice at it and missed, but I was looking for a grouse in it. No, I haven't seen grouse all year. Of course, I ain't paid up your whole bunch. Right. Usually I don't, this is when I get them, right before deer hunting. Yeah. And stuff. No deer, they'll, so I had a sandwich with that, my mom, you know, did that lot of work the other day. And they oh, yeah. had extra sandwiches in, in, so I brought a couple up. And it's a whole bunch of ham, cheese, and bread, and pickles. Yeah, and so I just put them out there. And those two birds ate a whole, it was a double sandwich, but that, 
They made the whole thing. Did they? <laughs> I don't know what they did to do with it. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they have to store it. Maybe they, they eat it more. <laughs> yeah, but you, you finally it's like well, one girl or so, some them mom cuts in cubes and puts in gravy for and then that's potatoes from Korea, you know. Oh, does she? Oh, that'd be good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you can't have to fish on? Just to... My white spinner bait. Yep. Is that right? First first cast out there, something hit it. Second cast, nothing. Third cast, I got the first fish. Is that right? And then they just kept, yeah, I've never seen it like that. Well, you and I have had it like that in the spring once in a while. But, yeah, no, I didn't expect that. I got the fish for Zach. Got that one over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's in, in, in above my office. It's a dead death. Yeah, they, they, you also are there holding one, and he's holding that. Yeah, we both had a dead one. Yeah. Big one. Yeah, that was in the spring and it snowed that day too. Yeah. Or that one, yeah. It's trail, but something makes that for fairly walk in on, but I don't know what to be. Right. It's gotta be to do deer because. And a lot of times like, on the yeah on the trail camera too right there the deer just appear yeah. so they are probably coming there and then they come across. You see me? I walk in there maybe maybe ten times a year. It's because you 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 just go straight across. It's just a big path. And I always. And when you jump in there, you got these big pine. It's really pretty in there. But. Hmm. So then, I guess what we'll have to do. We, we couldn't do it like this.
couple two by fours like this, this one won't. Oh. <laughs> um, that's top. Okay. Probably overbuilt it, maybe, but that plywood is so flimsy. Yeah. You know, if I remember right, I think it was. Can you look at the bottom of this? On, on the bottom of that bottom two by? Is there a knot sticking out? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I remember that. <sighs> to run opposite the door side. Yep. Okay. Right here, let's worry about this corner first. Okay. So right now it's plus with the wood and plush with the wood. What does it look like in that other front corner? Uh it has a do it. Do this corner first, I want to see what it looks like there. Oh, um, there's the wood, the, that two by match over here, and then there's like a... and he has the kind of screws that have the rubber gaskets on them. Oh, okay. For metal roof. And, and then we'll have to get a bit for that, which I should have. Just anything so that it doesn't get on the top of that plywood and peel it apart like they do. Uh, what's what's that? For like, like the plywood, if it got water in here, it, like, it delaminates itself. Right, so if we're glass like that, we yeah. should be pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's great. We'll go, we can go far as we want, actually, because if it starts to bend down, it's not going to get in the way. So we'll go out farther, and over time, if it goes down, it's not doing oh, anything yeah. bad. Why don't you give me that last one, Zach?
here. Oh my god, that'll be great. Yep. I'm sure that won't leak at all. No, uh uh. And it, I mean, yeah, and it won't rot away. We just yeah. need to get paint on it next year or something on the outside. Yeah. Yeah, Grandpa did mention that green steel that he has. So. Did he? Okay. Peter to fire up, so first I get an idea how warm it's going to be. Oh. <laughs> and I, I purged it, but I think. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to try it again. I need to try it. A loop in it and hang it on the screw that's like partially in up there. So it'll sit like right here. Let me just double check. Okay, so it'll sit like that. So we can do one side at a time. Al Zachary has been working on that deer stand project for quite a while now. Got that set up. It's just going to be a good stand to have. It covers a kind of a nice area. There's a trail in there, uh, maybe 50 yards out. And uh, anyway, it'll be nice because it's going to be a spot that's warm if my dad wants to run over there. It is on the tent property, so we have no restrictions or anything, so it was just a good place to put it. Zachary's going to make chili for lunch. See, to the stand that I have in so bad, it's enclosed. Almost. Right, right, yeah. But today, I remember on the third weekend, it could really get cold up here. Yeah, yeah it does. It can, you know. Well, heck, the last, was it last year? I think I had 14 below on the stand. Yeah. And the year before that, I had 21 below on the stand. Yeah, that was second. Yeah. Or maybe that was third weekend. Yeah. Because when I got that last year, two years ago, it was so cold that morning. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. When I was driving up, there was a couple spots where it looked kind of foggy, but it was snow flurries. Yeah. Because it was just getting light, you know, when I was coming up. So. Yeah, because today, even said, be careful for ice up here. There might be some. But it was 32 coming up here almost. Almost all the way up here. My temperature didn't change a oh, bit really? on my truck. You know, I put a bar stand down there and then afterwards walked all over and looked for deer sign and everything and got all my stuff and come back out to the truck and opened my gun to unload it and I never had put any shells in there. Oh. <laughs> I carried it around that whole time for nothing. <laughs> That's funny. You know, remember this morning I was, um, I was getting something out of my truck and see, then here on the, 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 the floor is, uh, on three shotgun shells. Oh, <laughs> I, I told you, I, I, yesterday I seen all these girls had my gun, but the shells are in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it to go off because it's a stencil. Here, we just do little bowls. And you want any chili? No, then? thanks. So I don't know. I, just get uh, I have my yeah. shit ammo for a little. For you, but. <laughs> It looks like good chili. I mean, it's thick. I took a, a sample of it and I didn't put all the seasoning in because uh, it looks pretty good. Does it? <laughs> I mean, you can always add more, but you can't take it away. Right, right. Let's see. Want some milk? 
No, I got my Yeah, we haven't done Christmas for a couple of years, no. so. And my mom, not now, all she does is buy more, more stuff, it's just at the Kentucky Fried. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. You know, not now, even country fried. So I, I use that first, so. And so, your woodman is pretty full outside, though, isn't it? Yeah, I just thought, you know, I might as well use the stuff by the, it's under the, uh, the overhang. Right. Yeah, I got enough wood that, you know, it's, it's, it's the morning, I was up behind the hot house, I, I hovered up that window and back. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, and I tr turned my, my, my heater on, but okay. I'm out there in the back on the step ladder, and these three little birds come. They land right to, they, they want food. Right. Well, I'm out there with a hammer, and they're sitting right here, and I thought, get the hell out of here, you know? <laughs> right, they get to be annoying. They really do. But the, if you throw any crafts out, it's right, yeah, you want to have it with you just in case, so you can yeah. call or whatever. <coughs> well, now that lunch is done, it's actually 21 minutes after 1 o'clock, and... Well, anyway, we're going to run right now and run out to Zachary's stand and check that out. And then after that, we're going to come back and sight in our rifles. Well, Zach and I are back here after doing stands. We actually drove all the way down to that area I looked at last year for maybe a new area and walked down there. I did a little bit more exploring in another spot and then came back here and went over to my dad's and helped him move his uh, swing, kind of like the one I've got over there, out by the lake at his place. And now, I don't know what time it is, it's probably pushing four o'clock, uh, we're gonna sight in our rifles. Well, the targets are out there, and to be honest, that's probably the farthest we ever have to shoot at a deer here. Very seldom do we have to shoot any farther than that. The first one I'm going to shoot is the Savage Axis 30 odd 6. Going to actually have Zachary shoot his, what is it, a Model 70? Yeah. Model 70 featherweight? Usually that thing is pretty much right on. Which one did you shoot at? Uh, bottom plate, bottom left. I think I'm just like two inches high maybe. Get that, maybe an inch high. Inch and a half or two inches from the center. I probably jumped a little. Maybe I'll try one more. Okay. Oh yeah, yep. That's... I'd say that's pretty good because you're probably sighted in for 100 yards. You're going to be higher right there. So I would say that's about right on. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. So, 
so you got this to just line right up in there yeah and you kind of it's nice because um, you can kind of put both hands on the back of it and it seems pretty stable bottom mark. Yeah. Looks like you're just just above it. Just above it and like a hair from right yeah. from the hair. I don't pretty, like the scope on here. No? At all. It's pretty accurate. It is, it's just you can't see super clear. Plus, I mean this isn't back where I would like to have my head, but it sure does hold it nice and steady. Yeah it does. Okay, same hole again. Yeah, that time you're on the black. Is it? Okay. In the same line, it's just all closer. Okay. But you're in the black on that one. Alright, so this one's good. I bet that's a pretty... Next, I'm going to shoot the Remington 700 in 30 odd 6. Same hole again. What's that? That thing sounds pretty good. And that time you hit the black and you're just on the right side of it. Okay. So this one's good. Next up is the Mossberg Patriot. It's the one I shot my last deer with. And so far we haven't had to make any adjustments. Everything was real close. should just like shoot to the right of it and then you'll say I shot in the same hole. <laughs> and that time you're just like a little a little to the right and down. Okay, so we're good. So now, uh, let's put a target on that other, this board, and shoot 22s. All right. I didn't move that GoPro. Oh. I'm going to try again here. Oh, yeah, it's just a little bit above it. Right next to it. So it shoots a tiny... Tiny bit high. Tiny bit high. Because, yeah, that was... Yeah, do another one. Pretty identical. Here we go. That was right next to that. So it's pretty much dead center. Just needs to go down a little bit. But it sure is close. I'm 
try that. I did five clicks. Go ahead. I'll watch for you now. Is it loaded? What? Is it been loaded? Uh, I think so. Yep. Oh, yeah. Which one are you planning on going for? Um, that's a bad scope too. Oh, you got to go closer. There we go. What a horrible scope. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we can adjust that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go bottom right. All right. That's pretty high. Huh. That was closer. What's that? That was closer. That's just right above the black. So I still have to go down. Ten clicks. What did it say? Click is a quarter inch. <coughs> so that should be four quarter times four or ten clicks. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it just doesn't seem to. Let's see. I did five before and it didn't do anything, but go the wrong way. It looked like. Yeah. Oh, that's like pretty much right there. <laughs> that now just still has to go down, right? No, that's that's right. That, it's just to the right of the actual cross point. Oh yeah. Let's do one more. I was looking at the other one on top. Yep, same spot. Okay. That's pretty good now. <laughs> yeah, so this one is good now. <clears throat> How many does that hold? What's I? I can't remember. Quite a few, but... But I know when we were out shooting gophers, I had to keep filling it up. <laughs> that was so fun. That was a fun day. Up. Get off my thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the top plate on the right. Um, the bottom right, no. The top right's been shot at. But the bottom two on that top plate have not. This is accurate. You're gonna... Okay. That was uh, in the bullseye. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? Just to the top and a little bit to the right of it. Same spot. Same thing? Same thing, it's side by side. Uh, all three right next to each other. <laughs> that thing is like right on. Yeah. Where did that squirrel go? It was up in this pine tree. That was a red squirrel. Yeah, I seen it. But when it's a moving target like that, you can't keep moving because it's moving on you. Yeah. So. Well, I'm going to go drive the loop for grouse one more time tonight. Zach's going to work on getting a fire going. He just ran down to uh, grab a couple pieces of birch bark.
And when I get back, we're gonna go all fishing because that lake looks nice tonight. You getting any bites? No, I'm just using a frog. <laughs> oh, are ya? I drove up the driveway and that grouse was there again. Took out the shotgun, went into the woods, I'm walking down. And then I seen it for one second and then it flew off behind a tree. So it eluded me one more time. <laughs> I caught a bass, what, two weeks ago, right along that shoreline there, and we catch them sometimes. Huh. It was funny yesterday when I was fishing because like three of the times the fish, they didn't, they, you felt the hit, yeah. and then it's like they were blasting at it from behind going towards the boat. And so you, there was no fight at first, like, it was just weird. Huh. And then they would fight good, you know, once they, it's like they were really hungry or something. I don't enjoy fishing as much when it's cold. Oh yeah? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's just like, you keep going. It's nice when you're catching them, but still it's like you're right on the verge of, it's chilly out, you know? I just got a hit. Did you? Yeah. Nice. It is cold out. <laughs> running a daredevil? I am, yep. And it's like a neon with spots. Oh, get them. <clears throat> Come on. There it is. There you go. <laughs> that would have, we, had to throw, we would have had to throw him back, but you got one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to come up here with like a canoe and a tent and then come back to like one of these sites and just camp. Yeah, it would be. I still want to make it up. There we go. <laughs> Get bigger. That one had a mark on the side of its body, like. It probably got hit by the bigger one. Yeah.
Right now, Zachary and I are doing the questions and answers video. I've got baked potatoes in the fire, and uh, as soon as that hardwood burns down a little bit, we're going to throw on a couple of steaks. All right, everyone, the questions and answers video is over. It took longer than we thought, so we just want to kind of get this cooked up so we can eat. I'm sure the potatoes are done. That one is. Early 1900s to about 1950, 1960, maybe at the latest. Wow. What was that, the glass bottle, what was that from? I thought that that was an E&J brandy bottle. But earlier today, Zach and I were driving the loop and we were just checking things out. We went and got one of his trail cameras and we found this, uh, like an old, ancient <laughs> dump area where they dump stuff. And it, it went for a long ways in there and there were just all kinds of cans and glass bottles that were mostly rusted. And some of them you could see what they were, and right now we, we grabbed a couple of them. And he's just looking up, seeing when they were created or whatever, and it looks like from like 1900 to 1950, so it was really interesting. There's even like... can't watch or listen to the same stuff because you'll start it'll like get in your mind yeah. that's the hard part though is like i'll i'll see a, like a tiktok video and the person's like yeah they're gonna start rationing salt and then and then there's all this all the, uh, everything else that's going on it's like right. well at this point i think that like a lot of stuff on the internet isn't it's pushing their prerogative or right. whatever. Especially Facebook. Okay, everyone, it's about a quarter after 10. Just in there watching Godzilla vs. Kong again, kind of. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. I don't know if Zach's going to go right now or watch the end of the movie, but uh, tomorrow morning we'll pick things up and head home. Good morning, everybody. Just got the fire going. It's 58 degrees in here, which isn't bad for sleeping, but a little bit chilly when you're... <laughs> Uh, just walking around so we'll get everything packed up here and cleaned up and I'm sure we'll probably be out of here in an hour
still have everything done here, so 726 right now. Probably be out of here in another 15 minutes. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Not much time for relaxing this time up at the tent, but we have everything ready to go for two weeks from now for Deer Camp 2021. See you guys on the next video.